Hey, what's happening everyone? Welcome back to the channel. I hope that you're doing just fantastic out there. Thank you for being here. Let's go ahead and listen to some Elshin cards. It's been a very long time in certain respects that we've listened to them. So uh, I just chose this, uh, this album and the first song on it, All For You. Uh, this is off of his album Vision, which was released in 1984. At this moment, I just felt like listening to some like jazz fusion. And at first I was kind of leaning to Jean-Luc and I was like, you know, I've listened to two albums from him. Let me let me explore some different waters. And so this these are the waters that we have been given and we are going to go ahead and explore. So let's go ahead and just start off with the first track. We'll give it a listen. We'll talk about it after. Here we go. Thank you. 
Okay, so All For You is not what I was, I was expecting, but we got what we needed. That's the best way I can describe listening to All For You. I incredibly meditative, beautifully atmospheric. It sounded like to me, being on a train, being on some sort of mode of travel and just we're the passenger in this particular car, this vehicle, and we're just taking a ride. Just taking a sweet long ride and we get to look out the window and the sights that you hear or the sights that you see are whatever your mind your creativity your experiences your childhood whatever merged with this music it's whatever it brings to light you could be looking out over a beautifully green emerald hillside you could be looking out at a pier near a beach you could be looking through a downtown city and no matter where you're looking out, I feel like the music perfectly, perfectly captures that journey, that ride. I, I just really enjoy how relaxed this was. <laughs> Once again, I didn't, I wasn't expecting something like this. I don't know why I was expecting like some craziness. <laughs> but instead, we just got this beautiful atmospheric jewel, uh, especially as an opener. This is the first track on the album. The album only has five tracks, two of them over 10 minutes long. And I feel like this is that stepping into the pool and you thought it was going to be cold, but it's invitingly warm. It's immediately comforting. And because you weren't expecting that warmth, you get goosebumps all over. And you're like, oh. And immediately, you, your body just naturally sinks into the warm liquid because you're just like, I need to be completely enveloped in this pool. That's what I feel like with, um, with the music. Uh, obviously, Shankar's violin playing was absolutely wonderful, very subdued. And I like how he's picking on the violin too. I, there's no guitars here. So the picking is what I could only assume is him on there. Just bum, 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 bum. just bum, 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 bum. a steady sequence for everyone else to play on and, uh, and explore that. You have Jan or Jan Garberick on the saxophones. And then you have Pal Mickelberg on the trumpet and flugelhorn. And I liked how you could hear a slightly atmospheric sound like the flugelhorn in the back at points. But then, of course, you would have that heavier sax riff, that <laughs> kind of contrast, more up front. And I actually really like that, how rough tonally that was, especially when he's blowing in that kind of strong, rough vibrato. It adds, like I said, a nice contrast and difference into the sound. Whereas it's meditative the whole way around, that just gives it a little bit of grit, if you will. And I think that that was wonderful. This was a really great introduction to the album. Uh, if you'd like to hear more, let me know. If not, let me know. You can put all those thoughts in the comments below. Thank you as always for watching. I hope that you enjoyed the music, guys. And I will talk to you all later. Bye.